Um, this piece has been getting a lot of attention up here. This is where I put the toggles. I think it was last week, I can't remember. It's got toggles here, it's got beads here, it's got pom-poms here, it's got um, padded puffs on here. So the other end's a bit neglected. The other ends, they were put together. I think I put them together with you in a video. Um, basically, not a lot's happened to them since, but, well, this has partial stitching up here with French knots and things. Um, but I need to crack on now with this half and start embellishing this half so even the ribbon isn't secured on this bit here. So I just thought I'd just do a little two minute bit of stab stitch with you um, today. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to secure this little bit here with a stab stitch. Oh, wrap around your, net, your um, screw, Karen. Oops. Because all this under here needs to be secured, but mostly it'll be done by whatever I decide to put on the edge of this lace. Um, but I just wanted to, just to satisfy myself that that was secure, just do that one little stitch there. It's just nice to know. I won't lose any sleep over that now. So I'll just do a few up here, but it's so effective, this little stitch. Um, and if you, like on here, this is obviously like an olive green ribbon. Um, but on one edge of this one, there's like a burnt orange, olive green, did I say, olive green, a burnt orange stitch along there and then a raspberry pink up the other side and there's going to be lemon here and what I might do on the other side, the opposite side to where I'm putting these little stab stitches, is I'll probably do some turkey work because I think this piece needs some turkey work and I might put some more toggles together today but not with ribbon because my ribbon supplies are running low um, in my ledger class we're using a raspberry coloured ribbon and I've only got two maybe seven inch strips of that left and I went on the internet yesterday to order some more and they didn't have any and I think it's my own fault because I told everybody in class where I bought it so they've probably all bought it so thanks for that um, but there's more than one way to make a toggle. I'll have to do it the conventional way. So you can see, hopefully, how, I mean, this piece is so far out of what I normally work. Well, I say that, but I've been using colour for quite a while now. But these are unexpected colours, I guess. Even I think that. Um, but I'm keeping that theme going by using things like tangerine burnt orange against green and raspberry and bright yellow against olive green and it works it definitely works well i think it does you might think it's awful but i do like it so if i just do one more i'm struggling a bit this week as well because i've got a decorator and doing my main room in the house and i know i've got my uh studio now but i used to take photographs well, I do take my photographs on my white dining table because it's an easy background, but I can't get near it at the moment. It's just disruptive, isn't it, having some not complaining because this time next week my lounge will be finished and it'll be amazing. But it is disruptive and it's getting used to working with that disruption. I've got a feeling I'm going to be in here all week just hiding, which is no bad thing. No bad thing at all. So there, so I hope that gives you a sense of how I'm carrying on this kind of really unexpected colour through the whole of this piece. 